We didn't have to go too far to see the fireworks right here in the park. Yeah. After 8 o'clock and it's still 101 <laughs> but it's cool enough that we can come outside and you know not be in the trailer for a while I decided that uh, I'd cook an artichoke it's too hot to cook it in the trailer so I bring it outside and cook it what are you doing Mike oh he's gonna water his plants <laughs> he's babysitting these plants for the for the summer they haven't died yet so We'll see if they survive. See the car? Where's our Dodge? Well, it is a Dodge. <laughs> our, our truck is um, in the shop. We haven't got to explain all that yet. But um, Mike's going to go check on it tomorrow, so we'll see what's going down. I don't know. New motor or fix it? And I don't know. I don't know. We don't know yet. But... Uh, yeah, we're going to sit outside for a little bit, so he knows more details about the truck. I don't know what's going down. What? Don't get, don't give no big details, because we don't know all the technical stuff that you keep <laughs> well, telling me. <laughs> I end up having a bent push run. <clears throat> so, I was down there, and they op opened up and showed me, rattled the rocker arm, and it was loose. So, they said they were going to investigate to see what the problem was and I went down the next day and I asked and I said so what was the pro what caused it what what happened and the guy says you got a bent push rod I said well how did that happen I mean what, what what caused it he goes oh you got your you got sludge in your engine I said so wouldn't a, uh, a bad uh, lifter do that and he goes no it was due to sludge I'm going down tomorrow and have a talk with them because they were supposed to see investigate it. It was either a bad lifter or an exhaust valve that didn't open that stuck. Yeah, so we'll find out tomorrow what's going down. Yes. I don't know. I think that we just need to trade it in for a red, a cherry red Dodge Dually. <laughs> <laughs> right, Mike? Yeah. He thinks that he needs to win the lotto first. No, so. I don't think that. No. <laughs> I don't know. There's, well, one, there's one thing we got to do first, but I ain't saying. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know what that is either. Yeah. Okay. But, uh, yeah. Anyhow, we're going to just enjoy the evening yep. out here tonight. So. Hopefully we get it back tomorrow. Yeah, we'll, we'll give an update tomorrow. So, a few weeks ago, my, my truck started hissing real bad. <coughs> Sound like a rod, push rod. And uh, what happened was, it's, uh, second generation Dodges, B10s. Uh, some of them have a tendency of breaking the uh, rocker arm bolt. That's what happened. To our rocker arm bolt broke, uh, bent a push rod. So. <coughs> I put the new push rod in. A new bolt, change the oil. And runs good, nice and quiet. Had a little, last couple years, had a little ticking noise. And now that it's in. Put a new bolt in, new push rod. Now the motor's nice and quiet, ain't no ticking. Runs good, so. I don't know. Just one of those things. Part of life, things break, you got to fix it. We still haven't decided whether or not we're going to keep it. <laughs> yeah, we might. We might sell it. It's a 2000 Dodge extending cab, short bed, 4x4. Runs good. It runs good. It's got low mileage, but it's had this stuff go on it bad. So. 96,000 miles. Yeah, 96,000 miles, so you kind of hate to sell it. Last year, transmission was really big was rebuilt now it's rebuilt to tow. I don't really think now that trans 
transmission was bad. I think it was a sensor, a speed, a speed sensor went out after on our way home. That was after the end of the Torque training rebuild. And it wouldn't shift out of first gear. Talked to the guy and said, well, you know, the speed sensor caused it to do what it was doing when, before they rebuilt the end transmission. So, anyway, I got it built the way I wanted, so. So, how we're surviving with the heat down here. It's 108 today and it's after 2. Yeah, it's supposed to be 112. It's supposed to be 112. We'll see if it gets that hot. 111 yesterday. Yeah, 111 yesterday. I'm done. Turn me over. <laughs> we don't like it. We don't like this heat at all. It's hot. I mean, it's just hot. You can't really go out and do anything. You're stuck in the trailer or in the air conditioning in the car. You, until, you can't. Until, you know, 8, 8 o'clock. And even like last night, it was still, still hot. Degrees at 8, at 8 o'clock. Yeah, it was 100 degrees at 8 o'clock last night. And like, we like going and sitting outside and it's too hot. And you get in the truck and the seat burns you. and. <laughs> We're surviving. We're still surviving. So, yeah, we're still here. It's too hot to pull the trailer out of here now, so we're going to have to stick it out at least for the summer, right? Yeah, yeah and, through the winter. And the swimming pool's closed again for yeah. at least a month. I guess there's like at least 10 people in the park that's got the virus. So everything's shut down, and I guess most of the workers are not able to work and yeah so we're just kind of hibernating anyhow so maybe the heat's a good thing to keep us indoors away from everybody but yeah that's our update at least we got the truck back yeah. you get it all wet and it keeps you cool so we got that so Sophie can go to the dog park we'll see this is our second time to use it Yeah, it'll keep her cooler. Go ahead, baby. You doing okay? Huh? Is it keeping you cool? Not really? <laughs> all, of our, all of our restaurants have been closing down. So, uh, we went back to a, one that we used to go to. I can't remember the name of this place. What? Mikey. No? Mike had to get his fajitas. I tried something different. I tried, it's a stir fry, it's a shrimp stir fry. And it was happy hour, so we <laughs> we got ourselves a margarita. We'll see what we can do with those. But uh, yeah, it's been pretty hot. 113 yesterday. So we're just kinda hanging, hanging at home. That's why we haven't been posting too much. Mike's gonna see how hot it is. 109. 109. Oh, it's cooler today. <laughs> so far. So far. <laughs> swimming pool's closed still, so we can't yeah. go swimming. So, sitting in the trailer. But hey, we're okay. We're doing good. I don't know how well it's going to show up, but the sun is really wet, red today. 2020, right? <laughs> There's your red sun. Sophia. Sophia was desperate to go to the dog park, so we're like, okay. It's only 105 degrees right now, so we'll go ahead and take her to the dog park. She just likes hanging out in there. I think Mike likes it too. That was our night at the pool tonight. We got uh, volunteers coming out and opening up the uh, pool six to nine every night with this pandemic or whatever it's called, this virus thing going around. And now on our night, we're having a, it's a dust storm and we're getting thunder and lightning, a little bit of rain. Let's see if we can get some here. 
pretty good. Oh yeah, there's one. <laughs> so we were sitting out in the pool, having a cocktail, watching it thunder and lightning and flashing and everything else. We're gonna take our drive around the park and check it out and see what it looks like. Here's our dog park. It's a pretty nice little dog park here. Still sizzling. Ooh. That's hot. Ooh. That's hot. <laughs> Did you burn your mouth? Yeah. <laughs> I think he's hungry and he's uh, eating it too fast. Mm -hmm. We both got shrimp fajitas. It was just a hot day and it was just too hot to cook today. So, so here we are. So, so the pool's been closed. Well, it closed and then they opened it and then it closed again and now they opened it again, but we're, everyone's taking turns babysitting the pool. <laughs> it's like open for like three hours, two and a half It's hours. just hot. <laughs> it's 115 degrees. But um, so anyhow, tonight is our turn to, tonight's our turn to babysit at the pool. I don't know what we're watching for, but so we're on our way. I don't know if this is a very good view or not, but Superstition Mountain has a pretty good fire going on up there. It's really smoky. I'll see if I can tape it later tonight at nighttime. You can actually see the fire burning. But uh, yeah, so it's making the making it pretty pretty smoky down here too. Yeah, we'll try later and see if I can get that. So we're the first ones here. <laughs> I wonder if it felt like a sizzle when he jumped in. How's that feel, Mike? Oh, that feels good. Yeah. Nobody here. We've been going in the hot tub later, too, so. It's been a couple hours in the pool. Then we'll go to the hot tub. It's a good way to end a hot day like today. Had a thunderstorm come through about three days ago, four days ago, and <clears throat> got a fire. It's getting kind of close to some homes over there. Pretty smoky. It's been burning. We got fires here going on here in Arizona that have been burning for uh, weeks <laughs> or a month. <laughs>